So, let's explain the cantankerism. I'm pissed off. And who are you, first of all? And where are you from? I was going to get there. Okay. So I'm pissed off. I'm supposed to be a master's student at the University of Winnipeg, but two years ago, I became a climate activist. I became a climate activist because I came home one day and my partner said, Alex, I want to stop the Energy East pipeline because people in BC have been throwing down and stopping the expansion of the tar sands for so long, we can't let a pipeline pass through Manitoba too, or we would basically put to death all the effort that they put in. The reason that stopping pipelines matters so much to so many people across the country is because not only does it threaten the climate, it puts our water at risk. There is study after study after study that tells us that oil, whether it's diluted bitumen or not, can only be cleaned up to about 25% at max. It would fundamentally put the water of every single person in this room who lives in Winnipeg at risk. And what we've gotten from the Liberal government is radio silence. And we've gotten this half-arsed process and reforming of the NEB that doesn't put a climate test at the front. Why are we spending millions upon millions upon millions of dollars that if we had an authentic climate test right at the start of our review of pipelines or any large fossil fuel infrastructure would say that if we want to meet Paris, there's not room for fossil fuel expansion. Even Bob Hamilton and whoever else wrote that a uh, report that got released uh, by National Observer was very clear that we have enough capacity for this moment. The only thing that matters in building a new pipeline like Kinder Morgan is the expansion of the oil sands. We don't need to expand the oil sands when we're already on a sinking ship. Like, like let's, let's look at this realistically. When I turned 32 this year, my partner bought me a, a tattoo. And what that tattoo is, is 344. That's where the carbon parts per million was when I was born in 1984. It's over 402 parts per million now. We have to turn back the clock. There is no balance with the economy when every single pipeline that's ever been proposed gets approved. You keep talking about balance, but the pendulum's over here on the fossil fuel industry. How can we take you at your word? And climate is going to matter. We have never seen a pipeline rejected in Canada by the National Energy Board. Whether it's the new rules, the old rules, the interim rules. What the reality is, is these interim rules that you put in place are going to be the last rules that we're ever going to have. And that climate test is pre-Paris. The greenhouse gas analysis is not stacking up with the commitments that you made in Paris and the analysis that your economists are giving you are not taking climate change into account, they're not taking oil modeling into account that actually deals with meeting the Paris Agreement, and I'm just going to go like completely straight and call a spade a spade. It's bullshit, man. It really is. <laughs> so, 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 so the line is and everyone who has one of these signs, please put them up now, is reject Kinder Morgan. Oh, we don't need to wait till December 19th to reject Kinder Morgan. You can go home, stop taking advice from people who don't put the Paris Agreement into the briefs that they send you, and actually look at the science. The IPCC panel, it's not like some radicals out there that are telling you this, it's the 97% of scientists who say there is a carbon budget and any analysis of it that has come up has said not a single more pipeline that expands. Okay, and you know what? Yeah, uh, you know, sure, I'm, sure. No, but I think your point has been made, okay? So, I mean, so, so one more, one okay. more. This is the last point. Okay, this is the last point. point. And stop talking about oil by rail. All the analysis that has come in that said oil by rail is over the Alberta cap and it is over Canada's carbon budget. So how are you going to build a credible climate plan that actually reduces emissions now?
think it's uh, very important that you feel as if you have had your say. You might acknowledge that people have a different view. You might acknowledge that people whose livelihoods depend on the natural resource sector, which, by the way, are you doing working people? Oh, oh, are, the are, are there no people in this room? That's a false dichotomy. The private sector can work in other fields, oh, not just in dirty parts. Uh, are you are you respectful of yeah. other people? Are are you There's no middle ground. touch? There is no, There's middle, no ground. middle ground. You can't no fight with the biosphere. Well, it's going to ruin us if we don't do something about it. I think that so I'm going to give the I think I'm going to give the person who said there is no middle ground the last show. So. Hey, you wanted him to respond, and then you end up starting to shut him down. That's not going to help for tonight. He okay, characterized no, but seriously, what other people seriously. Now we've been talking about pipelines and oil. Is there, uh, you know, and we've given all of an hour of this for this discussion. So is there another topic that we need to discuss besides? No. Yes. This gentleman, this gentleman here. This gentleman